One of the most common problems FLL teams face is navigating the field consistently. This is mainly because beginner FLL teams align the robots with various printings in the base, which will result in different placements depending on their perspective. This slight variance in the robot's starting point, along with the fact that most robots simply drive straight with no means of alignment, will cause the robot to drive inconsistently. Although some teams use line following programs or gyro sensors to drive straight, there is always the possibility of gyro drift or an error from color sensors due to different lighting, not to mention that robots using these programs drive relatively slowly, which wastes time. The only method of alignment that will always remain the same are the table's walls, since the exact dimensions and construction of FLL tables are regulated in the rulebook. This alignment method will work every single time, since wall following attachments will allow the robot to drive against the table at a consistent distance. You can also have the robot drive slightly steered into the wall, ensuring that the robot has complete contact with the table at all times. The only thing that can be tricky is making sure that the attachment avoids all missions along that path. So this may mean that the robot will not drive directly against the wall. If there is a mission in the way, the attachment may need to vary in height or distance from the wall to drive past it. Also, in order to prevent the robot from getting caught on the wall, since there may be some dents in the wood, make sure your attachment is long enough to provide support and also add wheels so that the attachment rolls against the table instead of sliding, which results in a lot of friction. However, if the attachment is built to avoid collisions, the robot will easily be able to drive straight at full power every time. You can also use these attachments to align mid-run in order to line up for missions on the far side of the field. For example, in this clip, even though the robot comes toward the wall at a weird angle, this back and forth movement against the wall consistently aligns the robot. Also, if you don't want your robot to drive around with a huge clunky panel, you can build these wall following mounts as detachable attachments that your robot pushes forward and then simply leaves it behind and drives away. 